2021 salary earnings for treasurer fees. This is our 2021 salary ordinance. It's up for introduction tonight and will be up for approval at the next meeting. This includes a 10% or 2%, I'm sure can better, 2% uh, raise, raise for all. Of the meeting is open. Is there any public comment? No public comment. The meeting is closed. On to the next item. <laughs> Mr. President, uh, the item before you, item C, is a um, proposed contract for the Danville Downtown Partnership. Uh, we had a discussion in the work study session to um, provide, um, I can't remember now, I think it was $85,000. Does that sound right to them? Jenny, is that right? I think it was 80. 80, okay. To provide $80,000 to, that's right, it was. Let's try to look up the contract. Provide eighty thousand dollars to the Danville Downtown Partnership. Um, I know that um, if I could have a, just a point of order, a personal uh, preference, Mr. President. Yes, uh, please. Okay. Um, I know that um, this has been somewhat of a contentious situation, and um, I uh, I believe that the problems that were presented, um, uh, I think they've been resolved for the most part. Um, I'd like to see um, if the council would agree to give the partnership a chance to um, um, see what they can do with the money that we provide, uh, give them one more year to see if they perform at the uh, satisfaction to the council it's just that's just my two cents uh i thought i'd throw it out there while i had the microphone and i will turn it over to uh i know um uh, there's people that have um, very strong opinions i just wanted to throw mine out okay thank you mark any councilman want to make a comment on this um, I, I will. sorry who would who would keep track of the money It would be the president of the partnership, and that's currently Ron Oren. And I and I I think is Will still close to you? I think there's a fiscal person yes. that that uh, I think uh, Jay Hodge is their fiscal officer. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah. Anybody else for comment? I agree with Mark's sentiment. I think we ought to go ahead and move forward with this and give them. Uh, like you said, that year to see what, what can happen down that route. Anybody else? Okay. I'll just, say, I'll just say I agree with that as well. I think we're at a spot where we can uh, make some positive changes. I agree with what Mark said as well. We give him a year and let's see what happens. Great. No, no comment. I'm on board. No, no objection. Okay. There we go. So that's just a. Um, we don't. We don't need to pass this. We just have a consensus that everybody will allow the contract to carry on. We do need a motion and a yes. second. Right. All right. I'll make a. Motion. I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve uh, the downtown Danville partnership contract. Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Danny, you want to take a roll call? Nancy Levitt? Aye. Tom Pato? Aye. Greg Van Leer? Aye. David Winters? Aye. Chris Gerald? Aye. Okay, the motion has been approved. Thank you. Mr. President, the next item before you, um, item D, is the contract for the Greater Danville Chamber of Commerce. 
Um, I noticed, uh, I think Kelly DiBenedetto is one of our guests on this call. Um, this contract was uh, considered at uh, 45,000 during the work study and then during the uh, meeting, uh, it was uh, asked to be raised to 55,000 for the 2021 calendar year. So that is the wording of the contract as it appears before you. It's for 55,000 for the year of 2021. Any comments from the council? Okay, do I have a motion to approve that? I'd make a motion that we approve the uh, contract for the Chamber of Commerce. I'll second it. And a motion a second. Jenny, please take the roll. Greg Van Leer? Aye. Nancy Levitt? Aye. Tom Pato? Aye. David Winters? Aye. Chris Gerald? Aye. The motion has been approved. Thank you. This side of the agenda is E. MOU for jail fees. Willie, can you please uh, make a comment? Mr. Mr. President, uh, so that Will doesn't have to try and get over there, uh, we'd like to table this matter for the night. Uh, we don't have any supporting documentation for it. Uh, that's why it was marked tentative on the uh, uh, agenda itself. Uh, it's actually, I believe it's in the hands of the county right now. We're waiting on them to whether they want to agree or disagree. Uh, I'm getting the thumbs up from Will. So, um, so we're waiting on them. So until we have that documentation, there's really no actions for you guys to do. I'm sure everybody agrees with that. Okay, we'll table this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item F, approval of expenditure for the Redevelopment Commission. Oh, Mr. President, the Redevelopment Commission uh, has been doing a great uh, deal of work on behalf of the town and our uh, merchants and uh, trying to do creative, positive things um, with uh, what limits they have. And one of the things that they uh, chose to do was try and negotiate a contract with Danville Christian Church. Um, the parking lot uh, that sits on uh, Cross and Clinton Street is rarely used from the, for the church during the weekday. So the partnership has uh, um, gotten an agreement from the church to uh, turn that into public parking uh, Monday through Friday, uh, the weekends. Uh, the church has requested that if they have weddings, funerals, uh, what have you, that they have the, the ability and, of course, Sundays to... Uh, uh, cone it off so that they can have their um, uh, people have parked there. Um, but one of the agreements the Redevelopment Commission would like to do is to repave the parking lot. It's in uh, it's in pretty bad shape. It is not uh, by current standards. Um, uh, it doesn't have handicap parking, things like that. So, you know, it has to have spaces marked and everything. Uh, so they're requesting to spend $17,650 um, I'm probably going to refer defer to Mrs. Piercy on this. Um, we did have some discussion on whether the RDC could, in fact, spend that edit money on uh, paving or not. So, Jenny, I, I'll turn it over to you. If um, I will say that um, we're doing a, a pretty good job. We 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 got actually realized some savings on 150 East um, right now. Uh, that project's I think we, we were at bid at like 340. Uh, we're actually at 301. So we've saved a lot of money on that project alone. Uh, so if we can't do this out of edit, we could probably find some money next year uh, to pay the parking lot. But again, I, I've had conversations with Jenny. I'll let her take over on this. And we can. We can um, do it out of edit. I'll just have to transfer from their allowed amount from professional services. Perfect. To capital. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, and I, I can't guarantee as, as we're getting into the second day of December, how much longer the asphalt plants are going to be open. Uh, but uh, we're trying to work with them because as you all know, uh, we have a lot of places here in Danville that still need paved. And so we're hoping they'll stay open as long as we can uh, uh, still get them in and do stuff. So thank you, Jenny. I appreciate that information. 
Do they plan to do it this month? If they can, if not, uh, at least if I recall correctly, they they had no problems uh, uh, getting new estimates for next year and, and doing it in the spring. Yeah, that's correct. They really want to get it done this year because of the price. The price is right. It's it's really low. So, um, but if they can't get the asphalt down, then they'll have to wait. As soon as you guys know, will you let me know, please, because I'll I'll need to do a transfer. You know, and we're under a time crunch here with it being December. Absolutely. I, I'll. I got to be completely honest. I'll be real surprised if they can get it in. Um, this is the same company that we uh, had uh, had estimates on for the uh, Main Street projects, the uh, D cell lanes, the passing lanes out in front of Beasley's and uh, um, the retirement village. And uh, we're not sure they're going to be able to get it done this year uh, as well. It's probably going to be a next year project. So. But uh, this will require a vote, Mr. President, since it is uh, it's $17,650. Any comments from the council? Can we get a contract on that? That's just is there one? With the, um, the, the proposal for contract, unfortunately, uh, which I have on my hand, trying to see. Yeah, we can sign it and see if they'll honor it next year. I got no problem with that. Okay. But yeah, I've, I've got that proposal for contract. So. So that was my my thoughts as well. If we spend seventeen thousand dollars on the parking lot that we get to use, and just say the management change comes through the church, I'm not expecting one, but if that happened, then the new guy said, you know, we we don't want you to use our parking lot. Oh. You're looking for a contract with the church. Is that what you were looking at, Nancy? No, I was thinking about the paving company. Yeah. Oh, okay. We do have a contract with the church, Mr. President. Okay, we have a contract with the church, so they yes, can't. Yeah, yeah. Can Redevelopment Commission signed that. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. All right. It's it's actually a, it's a lease agreement, but um, it's it's um, then Comer drafted it and it's all signed and ready to go. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, I move that we approve this expenditure for the RDC for the Danville Christian Church parking lot paving. Do I have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Jenny, can you take a roll call, please? Greg Van Leer? Aye. Nancy Levitt? Aye. Tom Pato. Aye. David Winters. Aye. Chris Gerald. Aye. The motion has been passed. Five to zero. Thank you. All right. Are there any comments from the council or staff? You know me, I've always got plenty, but I'll wait my turn. I know Jenny's got some stuff too. <laughs> any new councilman? Uh, sure. I was just going to say that I uh, attended the uh, ribbon cutting for Danville Dips. I know there's another council member that, that is really interested in that place too. So, uh, but it was good. Um, great place, great ownership. And uh, above all, I think it's it's good to see yet again, another business opening in town and be good to fill that square up and, and kind of make that a hop in place, especially when the weather warms up. Yes. So great job to all the Danville Dips people. I agree. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, it was a great first day for them. They really had a lot of people coming in. They bought a lot of ice cream. Oh. Any other comments? Go ahead. Go ahead, Nancy. We got a message from Jewel. It said the contract for paving is not in proper form, so the approval of the funds is okay, but we have but we will need a different contract to make it in compliance with state law. I think what we have is just a proposal, isn't it? Yeah, I, 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 I agree with Jewel. I think it's just an estimate. I doubt very seriously that we could hold them to bind it. So um, 
yeah, I, I, it's, it's more of a proposal for services, but um, we'll see if they'll still honor the price for next year. All right. Well, I, I just want to thank David for coming out and um, and speaking for uh, the town and, and council and Will. Uh, Will came out with his kids, and uh, we really appreciate that. And really appreciate the support of um, of everybody in town, and um, um, you know, just uh, we're happy to be, you know, on the square and continue to make uh, Danville a great place. So, thank you for the kind words. All right. Anybody else want to comment? Yeah, I just want to make a comment too. The ice cream was amazing, <laughs> and if anyone was at the square on uh, Saturday afternoon before the football team headed to uh, Lucas Oil Stadium, that was a, just an awesome sight to see. And congratulations to the success that they've had all year. Yeah, I was on the square Friday evening and Saturday, and it was great. How many people were there? And I can vouch for the hot chocolate; it's really good. So order the hot chocolate this winter, <laughs> if nothing else. A good plug. I'll definitely get hot chocolate. <laughs> All right. Mark, you want to give your speech? Uh, I'll let Mrs. Piercy go if she'd like to go first. I just would like to schedule the last meeting of the year. Um, in the, the couple years past, we've done that meeting during the day. It either needs to take place um, December 30th or December 31st. We typically have it scheduled for December 30th. This is where we do the encumbrances, any year end transfers that need to be done, and approve the last claim and payroll docket for the year. So what I just time? want to go ahead and get that scheduled with you guys. What time are you thinking on that? I, I'm wide open, so it's it's totally up to you guys. I mean, we can do we can do a seven o'clock like we always do. That's totally up to you guys. Or fine with me. What day is that? Does anybody know? Is that a it's Wednesday. Up. So I'm going to throw something out there, and I don't even know if I can do this yet because, um, well, I don't know what's happening with basketball at this point. But there's a Jennings County Invitational that day for the the boys basketball team. So. I'll either be at work or I'll be there, but um, schedule it and I'll do my best to get there. If you schedule it on Wednesday, I'd rather have it at 5.30. There's some other functions on Wednesday night for that day. And I'm open on the 31st too, but. Well, the 31st is okay as well. And I'm off that day. We can do it during the day on the 31st. I know that's New Year's Eve. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but. It's totally up to you guys. I, I'm fine. Either one doesn't matter to me. Whatever. Let's do five thirty on Wednesday. The thirtieth. Thank you. I'll make sure uh, we get notification out on that. Thank you. Huh? Um, Councilman Winters, have you already talked about the football team? Uh, well, I know Chris just made a comment, um, and I had mentioned something offline about uh recognizing them soon um so i i need to chat with probably mark and tom again on that uh, to get the logistics figured out since we have the other thing to juggle too that other ugly looking ball with things sticking out of it <laughs> the covid the covid thing <laughs> we did it wasn't all right on with that <laughs> well you know <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it'll be interesting to see what the next week or two, how things unfold. Uh, uh, Will and I have sat through a couple of meetings where there's people talking gloom and doom, and we've sat through some where they're saying, man, this is all going to be fixed in a couple of weeks. So I don't have a clue. I'm truly... Uh, I Neither just, do the experts. Huh? Neither do the experts. Exactly. <laughs> so cool. Uh, well, let me make a comment about that. Yes, sir. I was at a meeting today with the hospital, and um, December 15th, they have 900 vaccines, and they will uh, issue them out to all the hospital people, uh, EMTs, and people of first responders. And within a week later, we should have another 5,000, which they will put out to whoever missed it from the first group 
and people over 65 that are actually patients. And then the third level, which is going to happen out of the uh, fairgrounds, will be for the rest of us. And uh, that's going to start to come here in, in less than two weeks. So that's a good thing. Uh, we see a light to the end of the tunnel. And uh, maybe we can get everybody back in line again. That's uh -oh. all we have to say. Look out behind you, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming to get you, Lisa. I'm ready. If, and if everybody else is done, I've just got a few cleanup items, and then we, we should be able to get going. All right. Uh, Public Works has been busy putting out salt boxes, finishing up leaf pickup. Um, Albie will be on vacation next week. Uh, the new superintendent will start December the 14th. Um, I've already had conversation with him. He's very excited about being here. Um, they, uh, they did do, um, they're getting prepped uh, for snow removal, and obviously they did a lot of work uh, getting the lighting on the square ready. Uh, water department, um, uh, I guess they've been doing working non payments and then reading meters. Uh, Matt says he'll, you know, he's got his monthly report done as of today, and they've been work, working with Goodwill to get their uh, tap installed. Uh, Planning Department, Lisa has been working on some text amendments to get to the Plan Commission. Uh, also sending out some annexation letters uh, to areas where uh, we've uh, been doing, uh, we've had annexation requests. We're seeing if anybody else in that area would be interested in doing annexations. Uh, it's cheaper for us to kind of do it in uh, a bulk capacity that way. Uh, Park Department obviously was getting Winterland ready. They've been doing with uh, work on the football tower, trying to work out uh, with the uh, fo Junior Football League. Um, been doing some DAC remodeling, uh, and then they've been remodeling the train station bathroom. Will, I don't think you've been doing DAC remodeling. I know you've been doing something in the DAC. He's around here somewhere. I can feel him. It actually uh, starts tomorrow. We'll be putting in the pads. We're just kind of closing a couple projects down there. That's it. Okay. Uh, fire department had 1,499 runs so far for a year. Um, they've seen a just a staggering increase in overdoses. Uh, I, I'd be willing to bet I didn't talk to Chief Roberts about this, but uh, in my years of experience, the holidays tend to kind of breed that then when you couple a uh, the isolation of a pandemic on top of that uh, i'm sure there's a lot of depression issues right now uh, wastewater uh, has been working on the sheltering wings lift station rehabbing it and um, they're uh, um, working with the clerk treasurer to uh, get the geo bond for their their project started uh, police department's got four out with positive tests for COVID 19 they have four, four or five still being tested. Uh, so clearly they've got some scheduling difficulties uh, trying to make sure they're covering shifts. But um, uh, Assistant Chief Hilton has advised me they're, they're making sure everything's covered and that we've got police out on the road. So um, I know that I talked to you at the last, at the last meeting about the board and, and um, commission appointments. Uh, we normally do those in January. I've sent out uh, feelers, uh, put out an ad in the paper to see if anyone's interested. However, one board will require earlier um, work. Uh, if you recall, it's the Economic Development Board, and this isn't the Economic Development Partnership. This is the actual county board. Uh, Mr. Van Leer and Mr. Winters sit on it, uh, and then we have to ask the council, the county council, to approve one position, one person to be on there. Do you guys remember this at all? I, I know you. you don't do anything. I understand it hasn't met, but it, it's a required position. Uh, Jerry Vornholt is the person that we recommended to the council last year, and he was appointed by the county council. I talked with Jerry tonight before the meeting got started. He is interested in doing it again. He did laugh because he said. We haven't done anything. I said, I know, Jerry, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but I did receive uh, an email from Nancy Marsh yesterday 
that um, they need to know who our recommendations so that they can do their appointments uh, are. Um, I will say it was kind of a, a good thing because if you recall correctly, um, I had no idea, you know, I hadn't even been town manager for a year. I had no idea what those appointments were, uh, but she did give me some documentation that spells out at least their their terms. It doesn't say what they do, but uh, it does clear up uh, how long those people serve. Um, Mr. Winters will serve until the end of 2020, uh, one or two, I gotta, I, I gotta go look back, but whoever is appointed by our council is a two year term and who's ever was appointed by our council president, which was Mr. Van Leer is appointed to a three year term. So again, I'm gonna have to go back and see who was appointed to what, but I wanna say that um, that's how it was. So the one, one by the county council is a one year term. I don't know why, so. Uh, so I'll need you to, if you don't mind, uh, if you can, uh, uh, if you want Mr. Vornholt to be your representative, uh, I'll need a motion and a vote on it. I'd make a motion that uh, we would allow Jerry to uh, to represent. Second. Second. I think the motion was made by Mr. Van Leer and seconded by Mr. Winters. Yes. I didn't hear. Thank you. You uh, call the vote. Van Lee. Aye. Nancy Levitt. Aye. Tom Pato. Aye. David Winters. Aye. Chris Terrell. Aye. The motion is passed by the girl. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's all I have for the evening. All right, claim docket. Any comments from the council? We have a motion to approve the claim docket. Make a motion to approve I the claim docket. I'll Sorry. second. Nancy can have it. I'll second. Yeah, Jenny, take the roll, please. Okay. Greg Van Leer? Aye. Nancy Levitt? Aye. Tom Pato? Aye. David Winters? Aye. Chris Gerald? Aye. Oh, it's been approved by Mr. Gerald. Thank you. If there are no other items on the tonight agenda, I will ask for a motion to adjourn the meeting. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Anybody agree? Aye. Uh, yes. uh, Meeting's closed. Thank you very much for coming tonight. Thank you, everyone. Have a great Thank evening. You. Thank you. you. Too. Bye. Thanks, Will.